Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Beyond the Book Media's Indie Arthur Showcase. We are continuing on at this 930 hour. I am your host, Crystal Davis, and we have with us tonight, we're going to let her introduce herself, but we have a new Arthur, Indie Arthur, with us, and she's going to tell you who she is and tell you about um, her book. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ivy Caldwell. Um, author, speaker, uh, course creator, uh, founder of Footprint Enterprises, which is a faith-based organization that helps those that are ready to confront their emotional trauma and be healed to thereby gaining their voice and authority back. And the name of my book is entitled Expose It, Let Your Healing Process Begin. In order to be healed, we have to start talking about those various experiences that we have gone through in life. I am personally a uh, sexual abuse uh, overcomer, and I share my personal testimony in my book. You know, as a little girl, I hated myself. I didn't like my name, you know, the low self-esteem, the anger, the unforgiveness in my heart. All that stuff bottled up in me. Fear as well. And as time went on, I had that, uh, that divine intervention from on high, uh, healed, set free and delivered, made whole. And I am using this book to help others to be set free. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. What I love, uh, Ms. Caldwell, is that you said, I am a sexual abuse overcomer. So many times we hear the word survivor and I see that sometimes as meaning I'm still in the midst of it because I'm just surviving it. But when you have overcome the thing of the world that tried to take you out, there is a different sort of strength that comes from the word overcomer versus just the survivor of the thing, meaning I just barely got through it or I'm, I'm getting through it. Overcoming means I'm done with it. It is right. finished. I've won. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yes. So tell us about your brand um, or your business um, um, that you hold. Um, you told us about, you said something about Footprints Enterprises LLC, but delve into it a little bit more and about the products and services that you offer at, um, at Footprints Enterprises. Yes, I, I have a, a coaching program where I uh, coach uh, young women, uh, girls to get over those hurdles. I have one program entitled um, A New Jewel, and that's for young girls, you know, 13 to 18. That low self-esteem kicks right in at those ages, you know, showing them how precious they are. And then I have uh, another program. It's called Stepping Into a New You, and that is for the older women who have not dealt with those past experiences. They're still secrets. They're still hiding them. They're still carrying that shame, that guilt. But once you meet me, you will be able to open up your mouth and it will no longer hold you bound. You will be set free. Wow, beautiful. And I love that there are intervals and levels to it. You understand that um, the age gap of the 13 to the 18 year old or the younger group um, differs from that of the older group. So many times we see people clump it all together because they just see us as all women or um, in the same journey or have gone through the same things, but there should be a separation at mm -hmm. least by age because the traumas are different and we deal with them differently um, according to our age. So I really, really think that's good. And I love that it's called, what we said, the jewel? A new, a new jewel. A new jewel. I love that. I love that. Um, how has writing your book helped brand uh, help build your brand or your business? How has it kind of catapulted it? Has it opened any doors for you? The book has built the brand. So my coaching program came from my book. I love that the book built the brand. Yes. It's all about digging in those areas that we have kept hidden. You know, we carry it around like a baby. You know, this is my thing. You know, this is my pain. You know, my emotions. We carry oh. it. We, we, we coddle it, right? Yeah. My baby. But, but, but what you have been through does not define who you are. Yes. And they have to be able to see that. So that's where I come in at. 
and as I am imparting the word of God, because the word of God is all throughout the program, because that's what's going to set us free. The word of God changes lives. Yes. Yes, I love that. And so many, so often you do find that we coddle our situations because it has become our identity. Yes. And so that's the that's the way we introduce ourselves. That's how we know ourselves. That's how we see ourselves. Therefore, other people see us the same way. And um, we need programs such as yours to help us to walk through, hence footprints, to walk through the journey yes. of healing and yes. redemption, forgiveness, self-acceptance, love, and all of those things. So that is beautiful to know that there is such a program um, out here that can help individuals get to that next step in life and get through the journey of um, healing and wholeness. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. If you could sum up your book in maybe three to five sentences, what would you tell people if they ask you, what is your book about? How would you explain it? What is my book about? Um, the enemy uses people to hurt people. Mm -hmm. um, you have to deal with your trauma before it deals with you. There comes a time that you have to deal with your past before it deals with you. Yes. Family secrets lead to Ooh. generational curses. I know that's right. That's now that's <laughs> truth right there. <laughs> that is truth right there. And we keep repeating the same old cycle generation to generation. You know how we do what goes on in this house stays in this house? That's a lie from the pit of hell. And we keep carrying it on. It's time to expose those hidden secrets so people can be set free. Yes, I am loving it. And there's so many um, people that have become muted because what goes on here stays here. And there was no level of protection for those that were the most vulnerable. And so I appreciate this because like you, I am an overcomer of that too. And so it is a beautiful thing to know that this particular um, area of life is really being exposed yes. and people are really learn, um, um, learning how to deal with it and how to speak truth to it and um, how to move past it. And so it is a blessing that you are part of the, the Calvary of the team to help us all overcome, become overcomers of it. Yes. yes. So what inspired you to write your book? I had no intentions of writing this book. <laughs> <laughs> this book is God breathed. So and uh, so April 2020, when the pandemic really started shutting things down, so I said, let me pick up my notebook and start writing my children's stories. I had started writing them back in 2013. Mm -hmm. 2020, perfect time to pick it back up. You know, I'm working from home, got all this extra time, can't go anywhere. But while in prayer one morning, the Holy Spirit said, <laughs> you can't skip over this. <laughs> so I'm like, skip over what, Lord? your story. And I'm mm. like, my story? So I had to sit there, you know, like, what is my story? So I'm like, okay, Lord, I will tell my story. And then the Holy Spirit goes, your story will authenticate the children's book series you'll be bringing forth. Wow. I'm telling you, I had no intentions of telling anybody this story. I just wanted to write stories for the children because they don't have a voice. Right. And then, but you, you wanted to write stories for the children, but you did not want to be exposed as being one of those children in past. You just wanted to say, hey, listen, I know how you can do it. And then, you know, somebody's going to be like, well, how do you know that? Right, right, like, well, right. Get your story out first. Right. So that, you know, because Jesus went before us, he said, I go before you to prepare that place. And so the Lord is saying, hey, hold up, hold up. I need you to, I need you to go before because yeah. what I, I believe from what I'm understanding from you is that he needed to heal you and deliver you and set you free first before you can bring people through. 
And so that that's the purpose of the writing. And, and he, he tells us at the moment, we're like, is that really God? Oh, you're talking about me? And you're thinking, I can just be good helping other people because I understand. And I thank you, Lord, for helping me to overcome. And then he said, no, that's not it. I need you to be able to say, hey, he helped me. So therefore, oh, yeah. I can help you. Yes, yes, yes. I was already healed and everything. But it's just like you said, though, I need to let people know, hey, I've been through this. Right. I can help you get through this because right. I've done it. I've experienced because, it. Because I've done the work. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I've exercised the faith and my faith brought me before the Lord who helped me to become whole and healed again. And yes. I am now doing the work as yes. an ambassador of it. And, and, and I don't know for you, and I will ask you this, is it then that you realize, um, that's my journey, my story, is that when you get to a certain place of the overcome and the healing, you realize that, you know, even though traumatic, it was for a purpose, something that you're going to help somebody else. Yes. When the, the one time I heard the Lord say, Crystal, that was never about you. It yeah. was for that other person that I will have to cross your path or that is assigned to your anointing, your gift. Um, yes, it hurt you but it all works for your good and yes, so yes. um when you get to that moment tell me about that time when you realize hey you know that did hurt me as a child and it may have um stunted something but god is the one that can give it all back seven yeah. fold, hundredfold you know and so how did the, what was that moment when you realized you know yeah. this is not even it wasn't even about me yes yes i experienced that earlier this year i kicked off my coaching program. I had three brave souls, you know, they came from uh, domestic violence, molestation, divorce, you know, just beaten down and not really talking about what they have gone through. It was like a beta course, three weeks, we met two nights a week. So in the beginning, I told them, you don't have to tell me anything, but I am going to challenge you to find someone in your circle that you trust. So the first two nights, they didn't have anything to say. But I was open, transparent, as authentic as I can be. And by that third night, I am telling you, God showed up. <laughs> they could not wait to open up their mouths and expose their truth. And I wow. just sat there in awe because I'm like, God, what? You did this. Right. I, I was just floored away that night. And ever since that third night, those women have been on fire. They said, I'm exposing everything. I am exposing my truth. Why? So you can be healed. That is beautiful. It's something about that third night. Oh, Sunday morning, as I like to say that, that third night, that third yes. day. So yes. who would you say um, your book is for? I would say it is for anyone who has... Uh, unforgiveness in their heart, mm. anyone who has experienced sexual abuse, mm -hmm. anyone that has incest in their family, anyone who may be dealing with homosexuality. This book is for someone who is really hurting emotionally and they have yet to expose their truth. Wow, this book is for just everybody, basically. It's for Whoever's everybody. hurting, get the book. <laughs> and, and what I love about this author showcase is that we are encouraging individuals, if that be not you, but you know somebody in your family, you know that this is your family secret, and you know that that some one person may be, you know, struggling um, with addictions or anything, something like that, and you know that the, the root of that. Yeah. This book is for anyone who needs to be healed. My book will show you how to get unstuck and move past your pain of abuse in childhood, how to get your voice and authority back, how forgiving those who have hurt you is a part of the healing process. You may say, I don't wanna forgive, I don't wanna forgive. Forgiving them is not giving them an out. Forgiveness is for you. So you can get the release that you need in your spirit and your soul. 
that's when you gain your voice and authority back. And until we can forgive, we remain stuck and we give that other person control over us. Why do I say that? Because whenever you encounter the person, you see the person, your whole disposition changes. Your heart may begin to race. You may run for the door. You may get tensed up. That person has control over you. Until you open up your mouth and expose your truth, they continue to have that authority over you. And the importance of being healed and walking in your purpose. As my sister just said, all the hell we have been through, it wasn't just for you. Somebody is waiting on you to expose your truth so they can be healed. That's it. I love it. I apologize. I don't know what happened. The power went out and came right back. I was like, okay. But nonetheless, I that that is something that is beautiful um, because as you were saying that, uh, we get an opportunity to share our story and their strength in sharing the story of um, where we've overcome. Again, I love the word overcome and not just a survivor, but I am an overcomer of that thing because the thing that was set to take me out really gave me power so yeah. that I can pull somebody else out of the same situation or sim situation similar. And so that is the beauty of it. And when I got that, that is where the healing started for me is understanding that crystal it was never truly about you and you know, but he's God sees us or the Lord sees us as the one that could overcome it and bring the other people out. Um, if this is not everybody's story, yeah, but there's certain ones that he said, I can trust her with that. Yes, yeah. she's gonna be broke down. Yes, she may have a hard time in her 19s, 20s, and 30s. She may struggle a bit, but then she'll get it. And mm. then she'll be able to go to that next place and take people with because we're disciples. Our stories, our testimonies are for other people. It is yeah. never, ever, ever about us. Yeah. And that is where I what I love. Now, where can people purchase this book? Yes, you can go to my website. Footprint Enterprises LLC.com. The book also has a workbook that goes with it. So you can journal what you have experienced because it's considered a brain dump when we journal. Get all those thoughts out of your head and write them out. It's a different experience when you look at what you have experienced versus as keeping it all bottled up in your mind. That's it letting it out um even in writing I, I will ask you this when you were writing did it um was there still healing in the process of writing i tell people all the time as a coach would be on the book media many people sometimes type but then you have those ones that say i just want to write it out and i think that's the most intimate thing is when yeah. you write it because you're really releasing it with every stroke yeah. that is what i found yes yes no um uh, actually my story was already written when I went through the Beyond the Book Media's, uh, uh, I think it was like a 30 day camp I went through. But one thing I did learn was that they did say, make sure that you are healed before you write your book because you don't want to bleed over your readers. I love that. We, we still say that to this day. We want the purpose of you writing your story and writing it from a healed place is that you bless others and not bleed on them. Yeah. And so we want to make sure um, that we're not opening up wounds that's um, gushing out everywhere. Yeah. We want to make sure that everything is all clear, all healed. And that way, when you tell the story, the person that needs to come out will, will gravitate to it. If you still battling, they can sense that energy. Yeah. So that is one reason why we say make sure that the healing process is has begun and that Holy Spirit said, hey, this is the time now to release it. You may not be completely healed because sometimes it takes us years oh, and yes. years, and years yeah. to really get to that place. But make sure that you have begun the healing process yes. and you have been released. To yes. What you yes. have to say. That's, yes. that's the key to it, I think. Ms. Ivy, what do you think? Being released yes. to write it. Amen. I can agree with you 100%. Amen. Yes. So, um, 
we're going to talk about the giveaway in a second and as we get ready to wrap it up but what are three takeaways that you would like the readers that you say i hope this is what they get when they read this book um my experiences in my life are a place of reference to learn from mm. it's not a place of residence don't Woo! stay there mm. oh i love that a place of reference do you still believe an answer to the lies that you have been told about yourself? It's like you got to renew your whole mind now because we believe those lies that family members and friends have told us. We got to reprogram our mind, renew our minds in the word of God. Yes. And there is freedom in confession. How do we overcome? By the blood of the lamb in the word of our testimony. You must expose your truth to be healed. Hmm. <laughs> I can't type that fast up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't type it fast enough. Making a choice requires courage. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and drop all the nuggets. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Making the choice requires courage. Choice requires. requires. And, when, and when you open up your mouth and start telling your story, that fear will go away. <laughs> yes. And I am, a, I can attest to that, Miss Ivy. When you start telling your truth, you learn to be confident in the very thing that he who had begun that good work yes. truly will complete it. Yes. And then you learn to walk in authenticity and you learn not to compare and you learn that your journey is your journey and that it was already written. All you have to do is open the book and follow he that leads you, that yes. great Jehovah. That's what I love about it. Yes. So talk to me before we wrap up about your giveaway. We all give all the indie authors are giving away something to those that are registering at our at Beyond the Book Media forward slash um, author showcase. If you go there and register, you have the opportunity to win either of the prizes that were even mentioned yesterday or today, or even what Miss Ivy is going to tell us that she will be giving away, and that will be. Yes, I am giving away an autographed copy of Expose It, Let Your Healing Process Begin. And if you are someone who has yet to expose your truth, you may have an opportunity for a 30-minute meeting with me to break the ice. <laughs> I love that. And again... We want you to purchase the book if you know that there is someone out there, be it yourself or someone else. We are blessed to be blessings to others. And there's always someone in our circle of influence that we can give these books to. We can gift them to if there's someone that you said, I know I can't reach them. Maybe this book can reach them. If you know someone in your past, your sister, your family member is dealing with molestation and the, the demonic forces that come with yeah. that give them this book give them the opportunity to sit with miss codwell and get an understanding of who they are and how to be an overcomer and not just a survivor yes sit with miss codwell and and get this book into their hands what is it is a season of giving mm. this is a season of giving a season of thanks and a season of giving. Thanksgiving, a season of thanks and a season of giving. And if you're thankful that Miss Caldwell has written this book and you know that it can uh, impact a life, an organization or whatever, I tell people, if you don't want to buy it for a person, you don't feel comfortable giving it to someone that you know needed, then give it to an organization that you know caters to um, what this book is about. There's always an opportunity to give. And when you bless those organizations and or that person, the Lord would definitely bless you. Um, Ms. Caldwell, I thank you again. I am dropping 
your link so that people can go and purchase your book at footprintsenterprisesllc.com. That is her website. Go there. Um, again, give somebody the opportunity to have a session with her. Give somebody her book. Give somebody the opportunity to come out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Is there anything else you would like to share, Miss Caldwell, before we wrap up? Expose your truth and let your healing process begin. I thank you so much. It has been my pleasure to speak with you. I cannot wait to get your book and get it in the hands of those that I know definitely need it. Um, it will work wonders in these organizations. And so we at Beyond the Book Media, thank you again for taking the time out to be one of our showcase indie authors and uh, for writing your book and for the impact it will make in the community, yours and ours. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Have a wonderful evening. You too. Bye-bye.